Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Andy at Lawrenceville Garage. Today is the big day. We're pulling the motor out of the Toyota Tacoma. It's taking a little time to go through and disconnect all the wiring, label everything. I, haven't cut, I have not cut anything. It's all completely intact. We're down to uh, getting the motor out. We've already removed the supercharger, exhaust, drive shaft. Uh, once we pull the engine out, get it set aside, uh, we just have to remove the shifter and four bolts holding the trans to the cross member. We'll pull the transmission out as well. Let's get to it. Well, I've been working at this for a little while. I put a board here in front of the uh, air conditioning condenser to make sure if the engine let go that it didn't come forward and cause any damage. Separating the engine and transmission is a bit of a job. Uh, especially if they have any miles on them. And this one really has a low mileage truck and is extremely clean. It's not 4x4. It hasn't been off-road. And it was still, uh, it took me a better part of an hour uh, prying and tugging. I put a transmission jack under it so that I'd try to get the angle between the engine and transmission correct. And uh, it finally let go. So I think we're, we can finally pull the engine out now. And now we are engine free. Still need to pull the trans, but there's just the four bolts holding the transmission to the cross member, and we're going to be taking the cross member out as well. The gear shift is already loose, so we should be able to uh, just drop it straight down after we take the cross member out. And we got both the engine and the transmission out. Uh, one tip on the transmission. It was tough to uh, separate the engine and transmission. You just really have to kind of wiggle it back and forth and make sure all the bolts are out, are out of course. But uh, it, 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 took some, it took some working to, uh, to get it loose, but it did come loose. Uh, also, it's helpful in the transmission when you drop it. This is a two-wheel drive, but to remove the shifter, uh, because when you start to drop the uh, transmission out of the truck, the front portion of the transmission will catch the front of this second cross member. And with the gear shift still in the transmission, uh, up in the cab, it's gonna create a problem and you may tear your shifter up. So if you remove the shifter, transmission will drop straight out. And I went ahead and took the rear cross member with it because we're gonna need to uh, reconfigure that anyway. Uh, the engine is out in one piece and it is available for sale, as is the transmission. Everything's out and labeled and we're ready to proceed to the next step. I think the next step will probably be uh, taking the 5.3 and mounting the clutch on it, getting, getting that all set up in the bell housing to prepare it for installation before we can start dropping it in and getting some measurements. Uh, then we're going to look at having some motor mounts made. So I hope you learned something. We're making progress on this uh, truck. It's going to be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. 